We're back here again at program execution functions. And before I do the next function, which is going to be proc close, looking at this warning again, it's starting to make sense to me. It says open files with lock, especially open sessions. Okay, now open files, like if you, you know, there's, a, I think, a command called f open to open a file for reading or writing. That's what they're referring to by open files, I think. I don't know what with lock means, but I do know about open sessions. Okay, after some further research, more specifically on this Stack Overflow page. Down here, although this doesn't specifically address that warning in PHP, it does talk about the lock that, that can exist on files. It says, and finally, PHP uses an exclusive locking model on the session file. So only one process can have a session file for a specific session ID open at a time. So based on this background information, this is what I think this means. Okay, warning, open files with lock. Okay, the way PHP works, and I'm not sure about this, okay? But I believe that the way that PHP works is when it opens a file to a PHP script using like f open or something, or open session, that open file becomes associated with the script that that is opening the file, which is your script. Now, if within your script, you have one of these functions, which runs a command, and then that command tries to open that same file that you opened in your main script, then it will fail because only one PHP script is allowed to open a particular file at a time. While that file is opened by that script, there is a lock on that file so that other scripts cannot access that file. Okay, so that's what this warning is about. All right, now we're going to move right along to uh, proc close, although maybe I should cover proc open first. All right, I'll cover proc open first. Proc open seems to be a pretty complicated PHP function. I think I'd better go and read about p open first. I'll just read off what this says proc open does. Proc open, execute a command and open file pointers for input, output. Okay, so let's see what f open has. Okay, f open is a file system function. It's not a function for running programs. I'll go read about this one. Down in the comment section, I found this example, which may be a better example than any of the ones that came with the document at the top. I don't understand it now, but I just wanted to point this out right now and so I don't forget to come back to it. It may also be a very useful script. Okay, I found something that shed some light here, and I'll point it out before I tell you which page this is on, or what this page is about. Here, it reiterates that paragraph which has given me trouble, which says opens, okay, you know when the pop open, opens a pipe. Okay, and here's an example, but I don't know what resource pop open. Okay, opens a pipe to a process executed by forking the command given by command. And that command is the argument or parameter for pop, P-O-P-E-N, poppin, okay? All right, so what I'm trying to figure out was what they mean by forked the command. Here it says, it may not be obvious. I had to read it several times before it clicked. How the above provides a solution. And he's talking about the solution to his problem, not my problem or any other problem. And his problem is the problem that I was considering a couple of videos back, which is how to launch a process and then background it in such a way that your PHP script continues after that process is launched and doesn't wait for it. Okay, so he says, what's important? A process is forked, and he's reiterating here, meaning that process is run concurrently and independent of the current process, which is your PHP script. A file pointer is the only thing linking the two. Kill this, and the two processes are detached. I'm not sure what he is referring to about killing this. What is this? The pointer or the second process? Okay, anyways, he says, combine these two snippets of information, and we have a one-liner as follows. P close, P open, command, and R. So this, I guess, according to him, can be used to run a command from your PHP script in such a way that it is detached from your script so that your script doesn't sit there and wait for it. Okay, now I'll show you what this page is about. This page is about detached processes. Okay? Okay, I think I figured out what this function does. 
It says opens process file pointer. Okay, so the syntax is you use popen and you give it a command that you want it to run in Unix. And you give it a string representing the mode. And it returns a resource. And this is a file pointer resource. It's a resource that allows you to have access to whatever it's opening. Okay? So popen opens a pipe to a process executed by forking the command given by command. We explained what forking is. It means that popen will take care of that problem that you would have that we spoke about earlier, which is the problem of when you start a Unix program from within your script that you need to like background that program so that it doesn't interfere with the progress of your script. Okay? So popen opens a pipe to a process executed by forking the command given by command. All right, so let's focus on this pipe to a process. Okay, so the command is going to start a process associated with that Unix command. Okay, popen is going to open a pipe to it. And that pipe is going to be referenced using a pointer or a resource. And to make a long story short here, before I continue, that mode thing, okay, you're opening it either for reading or for writing only, one or the other. And that resource, if you're reading, what you are reading from is the standard output of the Unix command, the program that you are running with popen. If the mode is for writing, then the pointer that you get points to the standard output of the program that you are running with popen. Okay? So, let me read what they said. Okay? Popen returns a file pointer identical to that returned by F open, except that it is unidirectional, in other words, may only be used for reading or writing, and must be closed with P close. When you use F open, you don't, apparently you don't have to do anything to close that resource, but with this one, you have to close it. This pointer may be used with F get S, F get SS, and F write, which are, you know, for reading from a file that you open, okay, because this is a file pointer. You're opening a file to read and get things from it. So after opening it, you need other functions to read or write to that file. Okay, when the mode is R, which is for reading, the returned file pointer equals to standard out of the command, which is the program, the Unix program you're running with popen. When the mode is W, the returned file pointer equals to the standard in of the command. If an error occurs, returns false. Okay? So that's what popen is. This has been a long video, so I'll get back to the other... Okay, yeah, it was proc open. That's the one we really wanted to do. I'll get to that one in the next video.